Joining us now, former New Hampshire Senator and Jeb Bush supporter, Judd Gregg. Senator, great to see you. How Pleasure. critical Pleasure. is this debate t tonight for New Hampshire primary voters? I think it's very important. There's one more debate to come, but uh, New Hampshire voters are late deciders. They follow their candidates very closely. They go and listen to them in their town hall meetings. Uh, most voters will actually physically meet the person they're going to vote for and have listened to that person. Uh, and they haven't decided yet, most voters in New Hampshire. I think you probably got a 70% undecided. People are probably leaning, but they haven't decided finally. So this debate will have a huge influence as people move into these last couple of weeks. Is there any particular topic or issue that maybe we haven't talked about this morning that you think, particularly for New Hampshire voters, that these candidates really have to drill down into? I think they have to make the case as to how you improve life on, on Main Street, how you make this country stronger, safer, and give people more opportunities to get jobs and be uh, successful in, the American, in their American dream. Uh, they've got to connect with everyday people's everyday problems, and uh, that's the key to getting elected usually, but in this case it's very much, it's very important because I think there's been a lot of talk that's been uh, hyperbole, uh, anger, and frustration, but very little talk about how you actually improve the lifestyle and the opportunities of most Americans. Hi, Senator. This is Steve Moore. Great to see you again. Um, Great to see you, Steve. I think the biggest surprise so far of this campaign season has been that Jeb Bush has just not gotten off the ground. I mean, here's a guy, as you know, had an incredibly fabulous record as the governor of Florida. Everyone thought he would be the, uh, the big front runner. I mean, he's been great on taxes, on the budget, on education reform. Why isn't, why isn't Jeb taking off, and how big is this debate for him tonight to try to get back some of that ground that just has, has, has never um, shown up for him? Well, Steve, obviously I'm supporting Jeb because I think he will be a superb president. Uh, but I also think that the press and maybe the pundits, punditry hasn't caught up with what's happening in New Hampshire. Jeb's coming up on the outside, and he's coming up fast. Uh, yes, he went through a down period because some of his debate performances simply weren't as great as they should have been, uh, reflecting his not not reflecting him appropriately. But he's been out in New Hampshire very aggressively. Had a, I've been to a large number of his town halls. The reception is exceptional. Uh, his positions are exceptional, as you mentioned, uh, and I think it's starting to catch on. I, I actually think the person who's moving most in New Hampshire right now is Jeb. Uh, this is a wow. very complex election. You've got six people vying, all of whom are viable, which is extremely unusual. Uh, and it's, it's going to be won with less than 25 percent of the vote, I think, in New Hampshire. Senator, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank I you. know you'll be tuning in tonight. We all will. Senator Judd Gregg, we'll be right Thank back. Thank you for your time.